Frankie, a new horse for your stable with Super Vince. Uh, how's he settled into the Hong Kong way of going? Yeah, he, he goes good. Last season, I tried him three times, but uh, I think uh, maybe give him a few more months to be better. So I just wait until now, just a uh, fair start uh, on Wednesday night. He won uh, and placed in Australia prior to uh, arriving. You, you happy with the way he's trolled up? Yeah, yeah. He spent a bit of time up at Chung Fa and he's only just turned four. What was the reason you were sent him up to Chung Fa? Um, I always said, usually Chung Fa is a better place for, for, for the young horse. So I just put him over there and Chow once come back to Hong Kong. And uh, yesterday I put a separate turn on uh, to, to, to get up the horse. Was, was the, the feedback from Zach good? Yeah, he said uh, that the horse are a bit lazy <laughs> because I uh, just just get it by himself. Yeah. Not concerned at all that he hasn't been to Happy Valley before. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, should be okay. Yeah. And uh, quickly touching on last season as a champion trainer, got a good <laughs> ring to it, Frankie Law, champion trainer. How did you manage to uh, celebrate your success and reflect on it? Uh, not much. Only with my family, and uh, uh, we start the new season. Need to start new season. Yes. Harry Harmony and home for uh, Danny Shum. A uh, couple of rides on this horse now, including his uh, two last start defeats. He was only beaten half a length. Tell us about those. He, he looked to close off pretty well last start. Yeah, he did. I thought, um, you know, from a nice draw, we, he, he probably wasn't the quickest away into stride that day and um, got shuffled back a little bit. But uh, he finished his race off really nicely and um, his two defeats, he's, he's only been beaten half a length on, on both starts. So. With another nice draw, um, I think he's going to get hopefully a nice position and um, should, should, should run well. That was my next sort of question. Do you, do you sort of envisage yourself with the run of the race probably? Yeah, I do. I think, um, you know, I'll probably try and be a little bit more aggressive um, out of the stalls and to get him a little bit further up there. But he's, he's not one that wants rousting along too much. Um, he needs to find his feet in the race. Um, and as, as I say, on his last couple of starts, he finishes off strong. He hasn't had a trial leading into a Wednesday night, but you did gallop him on Monday morning. Uh, do, where do you feel his fitness is at? I think he's, his fitness is, is pretty good, to be honest. Um, I do think he's going to come on for the run. I expect there's going to be a little bit of improvement there, but um, I feel like he's going into the race in good spirits. One meeting down, a winner and a couple of place getters. You must have been pretty satisfied with the results at Shartun on Sunday. Absolutely. You know, it's great to start off the winner. Uh, sorry, the season with a winner, I should say. And um, yeah, it's nice to, to hit a bit of form. So uh, long may it continue. What about you've had a bit of a relationship with uh, Danny Shum, including packing victory at the weekend. Uh, we know what a, a classy horse he is. How do you feel he came back? Yeah, he's um, run a, a mighty race, I thought, to be honest. Um, obviously, he had a couple of blips at the end of last season, but um, I think he's been able to, to start off nicely. And uh, he's another one that's going to take a big step forward for that run. And um, he's going to be very competitive wherever he goes next. Lyle, uh, nothing new. Finally, some luck came his way towards the end of the season. You were on board for his last uh, victory. Um, he looked pretty good there, but how'd you get him to? Was he a bit keen in the early stages? Uh, he's a horse that does race um, a little bit ungenerously. He likes to, to try to get on with it a bit more, but he is versatile. Um, he's able to be covered up if the, if the pace is right. And last time, I just thought that uh, there was a better chance of him, him being comfortable going forward, and it, it worked out to, to nicety. So, um, although he still travelled quite strongly, he hit a nice rhythm down the back and, and went on to win a nice race. And uh, I think that it just shows that he, he can do it from pretty much anywhere. Was that key to just getting him come back and relax underneath you in the sort of mid stages of that race? Yeah, I was, I was more um, determined just to, to ride the horse rather than the race. And um, as I said, when it unfolded, I felt that he was, he was better off going forward and, and settling out there which he did nicely and still kicked on in the straight. He's had a trial up at Chung Fa on the, the lead up to Wednesday night. No doubt uh, you've seen it. Uh, what did you think of it? Yeah, I was happy with him. Uh, just needed to tick over. Um, and uh, I'm sure that he, he will arrive back at Shotton in, in fine form. He's got the big weight to carry this time round. It doesn't look like he's a, a huge horse by any stretch of the imagination. Is he good enough to shoulder that? Yeah, th that is the concern. Obviously, he's got a good bump up in the weights after, after a strong victory last time. Um, which will be against him, and as you say, he's not the biggest, but he's a, he's a strong athletic horse, so I think he'll be able to shoulder it and carry it around, but um, he's got a bigger task on his hand this time. What about the pace in the race, because he has certainly led, but there are quite a few other speed options in the race. Where do you sort of see yourself maybe posing up? Yeah, look, I think he'll still be handy. I think it's how he, he enjoys to, to run, um, but I, I'm quite encouraged by the fact to see that there is a bit more pace in the race, which, which gives us more than one option. So. I'm um, sure that he will be ridden positive, but happy to take a seat um, in the trail or, or two back. And uh, yeah, from there, hopefully he can produce the same sort of finish. 
no doubt you've enjoyed the break and off the back of what was a very satisfying back end of the, the season. Have you got any targets or ambitions for this season? Yeah, of course. Um, I haven't kept a secret that I'm, I'm trying to really um, have a breakthrough sort of season. And if I can get into that, that top five sort of area, that, that would be fantastic. So I've um, got a, a long path to travel still to get there and um, we'll be working hard to, to have a lot of success here. Vincent, Nakoni County having his first run at Happy Valley for the season on Wednesday night. He won uh, back in June for you uh, with a perfect mm. run on the trail. Uh, yeah. How did you assess the victory? Yeah, you know, he's still young and I uh, think this season he, he improved and had a nice trial. Uh, so his fitness is there um, with the barrier helps. Uh, you know, that um, got more confidence for sure. He came from sort of back of midfield in that trial. He yeah. gave you a good feeling that morning? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, he, he picked up by himself and I only have to ask him ask him a little and he responds very well. So, um, yeah, very happy with the trial. What about is he, is he versatile in terms of where he can run? Because he has run on well from back in the field too, as we, as we yeah. can see in that trial. Yeah, it, you know, wherever he's comfy, depends on the pace of the race. Um, he, he will have a good turn of foot for sure and you know he was still young and can be a bit hot uh, this season he settled seems he settled a bit uh, better um, so hopefully he'll settle more um, in the race uh, compared to last season and he, you know that that will help him to improve as well nice to start the season with a, a winner on Sunday eternal bloom for Ricky you yep yep definitely uh, always good to start the first day with some some winners and uh, yeah definitely. While everyone else was sunning themselves on beaches over the off season you were in Japan riding how yeah. was it over there? Uh, you know it's, of course it's great uh, experience uh, and I'm, I'm grateful for all the supports over there um, and had a few winners and Ryan had a group three for Mr Yahagi as well uh, so you know uh, I'm happy with I can you know uh, ride the winners with all, all the most important connections that sponsor me. Uh, so yeah, I'm grateful for that. Um, of course, it's uh, it's a busy summer. Uh, it's busier than Hong Kong, but uh, it's definitely a um, great experience for, for my career here. On the home front, uh, how have you heard uh, Golden 60s going uh, leading up to his season resumption? Uh, you know, he, he looks great, he feels great. Uh, walked him yesterday uh, at, the, at the sand yard, a stable, and you know, he, he, he's enjoying his uh, summer still, but uh, yeah, soon we'll, we'll get, uh, get him do more serious work and be ready for the international.